Okay, welcome back to another one of our videos. Uh, today we're going to talk about a somewhat unpleasant topic. In fact, it's so unpleasant that among civilized uh, society and civilized people, they won't even talk about it. But we're not polite, civilized society. We're van dwellers. And we'll live any way we want to because we're free. The topic of today is poop. And if you look right here below me, you'll see we all poop. Your cows poop. Uh, dogs poop, you and I poop. And if we're going to live free in the wild, in nature, then one of the things we have to do is figure out how to poop. So we'll start with a shovel. Uh, the most simple form of pooping is, if you're living out in nature, there's a hole in the ground. Now, it, it's almost perfectly legal, it's perfectly legal in nearly all public land, national forests, BLM, to go out and, and dig a hole in the ground and poop in it. Uh, what my rule of thumb is I want the hole to be as deep as the shovel. If I've got that good deep a hole, squirrels aren't going to dig it up and, uh, and, and it's going to be safe. Uh, you, some people just kind of go out and dig a little hole like that and poop in it and that's not secure. Uh, you can't poop on a rock and put a rock under it, over it. The squirrels will get into it and you'll have toilet paper everywhere and you'll have a bad idea. Dig a hole that deep poop right in it, you're good. So next, uh, for, for as long as men first invented pottery, it had pea pots. And uh, I've always used a pea pot. I've got, uh, this is the one I use in my van. A lot of people use these in the evening. Uh, it's dark, it's rainy, I want to pee. I pee in this and at the end of the night I take it out and dump it and rinse it really good. Uh, so this is the most you know, other than digging a hole in the ground or just going outside and peeing, this is about as simple as it gets. Uh, our next is this little baby. Uh, this is my unit. I've been using this exact setup. I use two bags, just simple Walmart bags. Hefty's a little better, but I've never had a Walmart bag fail me. Uh, and I always keep double bagged, and I'm always ready to go. As I've gotten older, the time between I feel the urge and the time the urge is pretty darn insistent and let's go right now it has become narrower and narrower. So I always have a bag ready to go. And in my bag is a little toilet paper, of course, and uh, wet wipes. I, you gotta stay clean out here, especially your behind. You gotta, <laughs> you know, there are a lot of things you can cut, corners you can cut. Your behind's not one of them. You want that thing to be clean all the time. And uh, I even have uh, a, a roll of uh, antibacterial wipes and I will often clean up with one last time. I'll wipe my hands with the antibacterial wipes and then I will um, finish up with water. And finally, I, I'm kind of a little bit crazy about, germ phobic about it. I, I want to be clean when I'm done. And then I will usually finish up with um, gel, alcohol gel. Uh, I don't, I, I don't want to get sick because I didn't wasn't clean after using the bathroom. So that's my routine. Now I'm, uh, you can just sit right straight down on a bucket. And I, and I started out trying that. I didn't do it very often. <laughs> I didn't do it for very long because these things are pretty, pretty sharp. And uh, if you're in there for a little while, you got to do a little reading material while you're there. You want to have something comfortable. This is, uh, this is literally six years old. It's more than that. I did this in 2009. So that is six years old. Um, I, uh, this is nothing but a uh, pipe insulation from Home Depot or Ace or any hardware store sells pipe insulation. Comes in a three foot or four foot roll. It's got a slit down it. Uh, you just kind of tear the slit apart, slide it down, and then cut it because it'll be too long. And then just duct tape. And this has lasted me and it's very comfortable. Uh, and I've been using this since 2009. It'll be six years this year. Now I never, my body, my skin never touches this because this would be impossible to keep clean or sanitary. Uh, I never sit directly on it, so I always have a bucket inside it. And I'm kind of a nut for saving every little bit of space I can. So I, inside my bucket, I have dog biscuits. My dog needs biscuits and I need to store them. And that's where I store them. And I've always got a double bag on top of it. So uh, besides uh, my dog, the stuff never, touches my dog, <laughs> my dog's biscuits. And you know what? Uh, if they did, I think my dog might prefer the biscuits. So he, he doesn't seem to mind. He's never complained. So then the next one, and this is the one more common. This is a little more money. That was $3. 
cost me three dollars and some duct tape to make that toilet and you've probably seen or heard of these this is a uh, luggable loo and it has a just has a standard five gallon bucket and you uh, snap this down on and then it's got a seal now this is not an actual luggable loo brand uh, can you zoom in a little bit on that this has got a seal and that's that makes this one unusual uh, many of them don't have a seal and you'll get odors if you don't have a gasket on this side and it closes down and uh, and these are 15 bucks 10 to 15 bucks on Amazon we'll put on a link and then it's just like any other five gallon bucket and this is your seat and it's quite comfortable and a little more you feel a little more civilized some of us still want to have that urge to feel civilized and some of us have this urge real strongly and nothing wrong with that we're out here to be comfortable and happy not to prove how tough we are although some of us want to prove how tough we are and then finally tell us about this one bob no. <laughs> okay i will <laughs> this is another way to do your lid this is actually i tell that we've demonstrated this this is um, a bucket i use as uh, a water filter uh, this has a, what's called a gamma lid on it Uh, and with a gamma lid, you uh, you buy this and this as a unit. You undo them, pound the gamma lid down on it. It has a gasket inside, so it forms a watertight seal. The gamma lid has a gasket here, and then if you've ever taken but got a new five-gallon bucket and tried to get the lid off it, that's oh, horrible. They make tools, and you really have to use the tool to break a five-gallon lid off of one of these things if it's new. And then they won't ever seal tight again. But with this, you can put the, the, the gamma lid back on it, screw it on, and because both sides have a seal, it will seal tight. And it will all, and it'll keep all odors out, so if you have odors in there, uh, and that's the advantage of the gamma seal. It's not a, I wouldn't count out to be 100% watertight, but spills aren't just coming out. If we turn it upside down, I think some water would probably come out, but not much. Uh, and, and then just because you've got this thing, this is also a water filter. This is kind of my survival, part of my survival gear. You dump this in a creek, uh, and you, and, and I can have the gamma lid on it to seal it. And then I have a filter that screws on here, and you just set it up. You set your your water, you're down there. This is a Sawyer, is the brand name of this filter, and you just let it drip. It'll just slow. Oh, it'll it'll do a five-gallon bucket fill water filter a five-gallon bucket in a few hours. So you, it's as simple as as water filtering can be. You dip it in the creek, you set it down, you let it filter, and you got clean, purified water. Uh, kind of a little bit off topic, but you know, every van dweller should be able to make purified water. If you're out here, well, there's a pond from us, not even a half mile from here. And if we had to have water, I could go down and fill it and filter it, and we'd be in business. So, oh, but the reason you would care about this as the gamma lid for a toilet is this is a lot more comfortable than just a lid. I have a friend who uses this setup, uh, a gamma lid, and then he uses it, and he's... There's a controversy in the van dwelling community. Do you do one at a time, and then uh, I do. I'm a one at a time guy. I say this is not something I treasure. I'm not storing it and building it up. I use it one time. I pull that baby out of there. I wrap it up. This is all my toilet paper, so it's really big. I wrap it up and I wrap it up and then I put it in and wrap it again and then I usually even will put it in the third one so I don't want it to smell. And it goes into the toilet. I mean, it goes into a dumpster. Am I a bad person because I put, put two poop in the dumpster? Well, go to a, go walk your dog and leave the poop lying on the ground and see what happens and let people watch you. They're going to be yelling at you and they're going to say, pick that up. And then what do they want you to do when you pick up your dog's poop? They want you to put it in a dumpster. That's what I do. Uh, so no, and I've had babies and probably a lot of people watching this have had babies. And if you've ever had a baby, what do you do with their goodies? Well, you put it in the dumpster. So waste can go in the dumpster, and as far as I'm concerned, my waste is as good as anybody's waste, and uh, it can go in the dumpster. So uh, this has got a nice seal, and if you want to use it multiple times, and my friend does, he puts down, uh, you can put down, well, of course you're going to have your plastic in it, and your plastic bags, and then you can put down uh, a layer of kitty litter, you can put down a layer of sawdust, sawdust is a very good one, um, and 
chips, uh, wood chips, any kind of thing, and then you can use it multiple times and then dump that. I just don't, but I know some people do and, and are completely content with that system. At the RTR one year, um, I set up a I set up a, uh, a tent at the RTR because there are people who are in cars and there's nowhere for them really practically to go poop and they, they're new and they don't know how to do. So at the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, which is a big gathering of van dwellers every January, I set up a tent and I have a bucket in it. And my first year, I let I, I put in kitty litter and they put it in and they pooped and they put it in and they pooped and it went by the end of the time I went I went about a, a week and oh my goodness oh my goodness it was the most horrible experience of my life dumping that thing and I would never ever do that again uh, and so now the deal is I give them bags and their instructions right on the tent one time use you take pack it in pack it out you come in here and you poop in this you wrap it up you take it home and you throw it in the trash and i'm not taking deal with your trash take care of your own business yeah your business is yours and not mine um it's as precious as it is you keep it uh and so i'm not a fan of multiple times but people do um and and the gamma lid is useful for a million little things so uh they're about 10 bucks on amazon we'll put a link on for you uh, but it is comfortable enough with the gamma lid to just sit directly on it with with the bag so you're not ever actually touching it okay and so that's it now these are all pretty crude you know uh, to a lot of people the idea of, of, of pooping in a bucket uh, is just out of the question and I understand that um, I'm a crude person so it doesn't bother me but for those it bothers me <laughs> for those who it bothers there's another solution and Kendall will demonstrate that now. Well, kind of demonstrate that now. I'm not going to sit on it for you. This is what we use. Civilized people. A civilized people, if you want to call us that. But this is a porta potty. This is called a Thetford. It's a higher end model of a porta potty. We used to have a Coleman. Uh, we had it for about three years, and the seal was starting to rot. I think it's because we used bleach instead of just water and a little bit of uh, less harsh chemicals. But now we have this Thetford, it's 3.2 gallons. And it was about, when we bought it two months ago, it was $107 and we bought it on Amazon. So um, the reason why we like to use a porta potty or a real toilet instead of a bucket or a bottle or anything was when we first started this lifestyle, we didn't have a porta potty. I was going to try my hardest to bring in my inner man and uh, use a shiwi. Your which, inner beast. My inner beast and use a shiwi. For those of you that don't know what a shiwi is, so a shiwi is kind of like a funnel uh, that you would that con contours to a woman's body that you would put into a like orange juice bottle or something and, and pee into and. Uh, use it as we have different plumbing than we actually do. I tried that for about a week and a half and let's just say for me it didn't really work. We had to tear all the carpet out of the van. So um, we bought a porta potty and I love the porta potty because I can get down in the middle of the night and use it. Uh, I don't have to leave my van. I don't have to go outside. I don't have to find a spot. I don't have to think if somebody's watching me squat down and all that stuff it's just it's a big hassle for me so we use porta potty the thing I like about this porta potty is it has a flush on it you can fill water there's two this is a flush flushes the water uh, this comes off you can pour water in there what I do just to have a little bit of a chemical in there is I pour just a little tiny bit of ammonia in there mix it with the water and it kind of keeps it from uh, smelling but just kind of cleans it as you go kind of thing too and it ha actually has a seat on it and uh, you just pull this out right here and it opens the hole to uh, dump it pretty flush much it. to flush it how you get it off when you want to dump it is there's a little handle back here. Still figuring this out. And it just lifts off. And this. Uh, what size is that? About three gallons? 3.2. 3.2 gallons. Yep. And the thing I like about this is if I can dump this, anybody can dump this. 
and it has a handle. So I can carry it. And this is just water. I just dumped this. So this is where you pour out of. It actually turns. So you can have easy pouring and you don't have to drip it on you when you're carrying it to wherever you're gonna go dump it. Uh, what we do is if there's a public restroom or a porta potty that uh, we can dump it in, we usually dump it in that. Sometimes if we're out in nature for too long, then we'll dig a hole, really deep hole, and uh, we'll pour it in because we are two people and it takes about uh, two to three days to really fill it up. The other thing I really like about this porta potty is it has a sensor on it. Right now it's fully green because it's fully empty. When it gets fuller, it'll go to red. And so you know if for some reason you're not really focusing on how full it is because you're not moving it around. We move this around the van all the time because our van, we have to move things to make the bed go down and everything. So we're moving this constantly and so we can always feel how full it is. And, uh, but it's nice because you have the sensor, you have this little thing that turns around and the flush and it just latches right back on. So that's Have you ever had any accidents while spilling it? Uh, no, uh, not with this one. This one is, is really, I really liked it. The only problem that we had with the other one, the Coleman, we had a Coleman and it was about four gallons. It was really heavy for me if um, I had to go walk down a hill and go dig a hole, I was always falling. I'd always have to put it down, walk down the hill, put it down and then walk down. You know, I, it took me a long time to do it. So I never really wanted to dump it. So when we had our Coleman, the seal started to rot after three years and we tried and tried and tried to buy a new seal, but Coleman doesn't have just little parts to buy for seven or eight dollars. But Thetford being the porta potty brand does have little parts uh, that we can we can piece out and, and part out and, and fix as it goes. So that was another uh, thrust to buying a Thetford porta potty brand instead of getting another Coleman. Um, and I like it. It's nice and compact. It's kind of high. We use this as a chair. We put a little pillow or a blanket on it and use it as an extra chair in the van. And um, it doesn't smell. Uh, the other thing I used to do on the Coleman was we used to get little toilet bowl fresheners that we would hang off of the flush and uh, just leave it in the toilet bowl and then we would spray it with water and it would make a really nice, cool, refreshing smell instead of the smell that nobody wants to smell. Um, <laughs> with this one we can't really do that but the flush with the water and the ammonia seems to work really well and we never uh, get woken up in the middle of the night because somebody's sitting on the toilet. <laughs> now they make a lot of these in a bigger size like five gallon. You yes. wouldn't recommend that then. Um, well for me because we uh, we pass on and off the duty of emptying it and I like to be able to to do it myself. If, if he's gone or something or you know I'm cleaning I want to be able to go out and dump it myself. I don't want to say hey can you dump the toilet and wait while he's trying to work I can just go do it. The five gallon would be way too heavy for me. I would I could do it because I got muscles but I would probably have to walk put it down rest walk put it down rest and that's a lot of bodily stuff to be dumping at one time. So we like this because um, I can dump it, you know, every other day or two or three days and, and it's not that heavy. And um, sometimes we're not even dumping it when it's full. So it's really not even that much to dump and I don't have to dig this big hole. And it's just a lot easier for me, um, you know, being a petite woman and all. Yes, indeed. <laughs> So you would never consider being without this and switching to a five gallon bucket? No way. <laughs> okay, I, <good. laughs> I don't want to sit on a bucket <laughs> and, and bag everything up. And that just seems like one, it's just a lot of work just to do your business. Um, like you were talking about windows, <laughs> you know, when you have a window, it's, it's only open for a matter of time. And you know, I don't want to have to bag up a bucket and we're always moving everything around our van. So, I just think a bucket would just be a big mess and it just it just doesn't work for us. And we can move this down and I never have to leave the van to go to the bathroom. So Very I good. really oh, my porta potty. Good. <laughs> well the key thing is that no matter what you're looking for out of living in a van and living the mobile life, you can find what suits you. 
if you want to live a little bit cruder, you can poop in a bucket. And if you want to live a little more civilized, you can get one of these. Uh, any idea what's off your head? What these, this is going to be about $8,500? Uh, we, bu we bought this on Amazon for $107. Okay. Yep. I'm sure that's about the going rate. And so it's not that much. And your life, it, you can make your life a whole lot more comfortable pretty easily. It's a big quality of life thing. It is. I think if you can just make little tweaks here and there to have a better quality of life, then why not? I mean, we're already living free and wild and awesomely. Why not make it easier at the same time? Absolutely. Do you name your toilet? Oh, what's, um, what was his name? Leroy Jenkins. Oh, Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Leroy. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you, and there you go. Uh, another solu simple solution for a problem, and there's every problem in the Van Doyen life has a solution, and it's our goal to give them all to you.